guys and welcome back for another video so today we have another Kendra G a lovely 32 year old woman looking for a husband so let's go ahead and hear her qualifications <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe and tell us what you think Wi-Fi, you better work. Stop. Over okay, let's, let, let's get into it. Your excitement is giving me life. What's your name? Janelle, remember Facebook, Jen Kim. My mom told me about your show. Got my long checklist ready. Okay, Janelle, where are you calling us from? I'm currently in Ohio, but I'm originally from Florida. Hey, how um, old are you? I'm 32. 32? Do you have any? 32. Boy, that must have been some hard years. I'm just saying. And then she's got a checklist already. Like, I'm... This is the kind of stuff that makes me really miss Kevin Samuels because he would have... He would have gotten backlash for telling her like it is, but just from seeing her head alone, do you think she needs a checklist, Mike? Okay, you know what? I, I did think that, like, you know, maybe her, her hair is starting to recede at the top. But um, I'll be honest. She lost me at checklist. As soon as when she said checklist, it's like this chick is done. It's like maybe some guys will get in contact with her, but it'll probably be just a smash. Although uh, there's way better out there if you're looking for just a smash. I mean, she's giving me like crazy eyes from Orange Is the New Black vibes. And before I met you, the sun was like a yellow grape. But now it looked like fire in the sky. Why? Because you light a fire inside me. Wow. <laughs> Kids, when's your birthday at Zodiac sign? I'm March 30th. Aries, we rule. I love it. What do you do for a living? <laughs> I currently, um, how do I say this? My feel is kind of intimidating, um, but I'm an, an entrepreneur as well. I don't like to talk about my feel because I feel like guys judge. So let's, I'm kind of Michelle Obama. So. Michelle Obama is married. She was a first lady. You're a first lady? Uh, no, I am in law school. Oh, law school. Okay, you're in I law school. I study law. Yeah. So I interrogate you guys. So what is your them. profession, honey? I am currently in law school and oh. I have my business as well. Okay. So your business is around law too? Helping law students. It's a nonprofit to help students of color um, or um, those of color that are currently in the legal field um, that would like to pass on their mentorship, their education to future generations to come. All right. Let's do it. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? All right, I kind of change, but I know what I want. I am young, but I'm old school. Yeah, chivalry. You need to practice. You need to open the door for me. You need to say, um, you first, ladies first. No, not you eating and stuffing your face and ordering before me. Um, I like someone that's very kind, polite. I mean, again, you're dating Michelle Obama. I got this big law book here. You better be freaking smart. She is no Michelle Obama and she needs to stop saying that. Not in any respect. I am so sorry. Michelle Obama has a freaking neck and chin. You do not. I focused in on the words. No guy is actually intimidated. For most women, the more education you have, your chances go down to actually find a long-term relationship or marriage partner. The more requirements you have, the less chance you have of finding those guys because most of the guys might not meet your requirements. It's not that you have requirements. It's just the the level of them for the for the value that she holds. And I'm talking about her sexual marketplace value. This person's particular personality, I don't know why they're, they're rubbing me the wrong way. It's almost like they're they're adding so much like gestures onto their movements that is kind of irritating me in a kind of in yeah, a way. I don't know why. Annoying. It's like, um, eh, they gotta have, mm, 
Obama. I know. Her like, eyes are like crazy. The point is, you're not attractive doing this. And she wants to talk about standards. And let's just keep watching because it's going to get real interesting. Now, keep in mind how she came on this video screaming, guys. No, don't type T H E I R when we're saying there are five guys out there. T H E R E. I'm very picky. <laughs> yeah, get your grammar together. Punctuations too when you're texting me. I can't bring you to the White House with me. I'm going to be in office. Yeah, you can't come with me. No, not with a ghetto gold tea. You have to be a Christian. Mandatory. No Muslim. I don't care if it's the same faith. No Jewish. Christian. There's only God. Get it together, honey. We can't work if you're Sikh. It's not going to work. You can have two kids. That's fine. But no drama. I love kids. I want kids of my own. Hopefully three. So I love kids, but I don't need the drama with me. And you have to be very adventurous, willing to travel, hike. <laughs> so what's the deal breakers? Oh, go all in my chain. Ghetto, singing all that. Yeah, go all. Hey, Red. Red, excuse me? That's ghetto. Your pants down, your, your butt showing. I'm sorry. I... Don't you think she's a little, she's coming off a little bit ghetto to me? Like I, when I think of ghetto, I think of loud, obnoxious behavior. And that's what we've seen from her so far. Screaming on the top of your lungs to talk to Kendra freaking G. Like no offense, cause she is an awesome lady and everything, but it's not like it's, she actually, she just talked to like the president or something. Like, I don't, I don't know. She's, she's making a big list of do's and don'ts. It's like, woman, shouldn't you take your time to, you know, I, okay. You wouldn't have to make this list if you were actually taking the time to actually get to know people, because then you would know whether they fit in this list or not. You're just asking for all these people. But the way I look at it, me, I wouldn't want a, a chick who's overly dramatic and just seeing you like this. Shoot, I, yeah. I definitely wouldn't be hollering at you. She's acting like she's so above, but her, her sexual, again, her sexual marketplace value is not high like you said it doesn't matter the education like kudos to you do you want somebody to give you a cookie because you're going to school for law that's great even if you weren't the best looking girl the the most you could do is at least pretty up your personality she hikes she ain't she ain't hiking if she's hiking she's hiking up to the donut trail like i said this lady's face is very fat <laughs> so hopefully we'll see more the gold teeth the big old chain you can't fix your teeth Oh my gosh, 2022, honey, fix your tea. Dress it all just like a clown. You got this big old pants, you know, these big old white shirt. Just put yourself together. Be nice and pleasant and not ghetto and ratchet, please. To be clear, you, you, don't, you don't do drugs, right? <laughs> no, people think I am naturally like this. That's why I'm hype. Yeah, I drink Colombian coffee every morning. Ask my friends. I'm naturally like this. No, I don't do drugs. I don't come from that. I'm in law. Okay, okay, okay. We got that on get arrested. This, is, this is very sober. This is very no alcohol. This is who you what? are. This is okay. who I am. Very okay. fun comedian outgoing. So what's the age range? I I've never been into younger guys. Um, I would prefer um so 32, I usually do like 35 all the way to 40. Yeah, um, 42, okay. depending on how you look, but then your sperm's got to work because I need kids. <laughs> sorry, we're not surrogated. You need to get the sperms to come. <laughs> Most picky these days in my age, I would say not so much. Uh, like the other girl said, I'm one of those. I've been, I'm a girl but i've always dated bodybuilder footballers i've been that lucky and i used to work out and active i yeah two fat people can't sleep honey i mean i'm a so little what happened with the bodybuilders and the football players you dated well he was abusive <laughs> so that we were engaged from high school um five years and stuff i've always done long-term relationship um yeah he was abusive and that one was um controlling Okay, so you want a bodybuilder type of guy? It, again, it doesn't have to be bodybuilder. Um, it does. I don't want it skinny, but I also you can't you can't be like how Fat Joe used to look. That's what the kids are doing. Like the old Fat Joe, he can't be Norbit. It's time for the Kendra Cam. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
all guys know the you, leggings and tight fitted clothes, all it does is just suck in it. So when the clothes are off, it's almost like somebody just somebody like pulled that little little string on a corset and it just all just pops out. It's like, ooh. Did you see? I mean, my thing is she turned towards her butts so that we could see her from the backside. You didn't have any butt. You, you, there was no point for you to turn the, to, for us to see. There's nothing there that you should have just at least kept the front, give the illusion of a curvy body with these boobs. Abs on a skinny guy are just as relevant as a fat girl with big boobs. I can have a dating show because I would give them the cold hard truth. I'd be like, look, I'm an average guy and I wouldn't know where you wouldn't even be in my 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 rear view mirror, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and these are real. No surgery, sorry. Okay. Just like kids just said. Oh, yeah. I did that earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. See? Okay, we see you, baby. Does the yeah. guy got to make a certain amount of money? Um, Those questions are hard, Kendra. I always thought about that. <laughs> just make sure you're... Okay. So make sure you have a plan and you know where you're going. But like, and working at Target for $12 an hour? No, those two, three jobs and no, next. What's your last relationship, Janelle? Uh, <laughs> seven years ago. <laughs> okay. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, a long time ago. I've been single for seven years, so a long time ago. Um, yeah, I date with a purpose. I'm not a whore. I'm not a thought. I don't sleep around. I'm um, ma'am, you're you've been single for seven years straight, and you're 32. That means from 25 to 32, you got nothing. Those are like prime years. What do you think? After 32, all of a sudden now you look like this, and you got this braggadocious attitude. All of a sudden now guys are gonna be interested. I don't. I, what do you think? Is this prime age for her to start? They say women hit the wall at 30. That's that's what they say, you know. Or at least that's when they say that's when they start noticing the wall is approaching or whatnot. Me, I'm not going to say anything like that. But I will say that more than likely her personality and her mouth is probably what kept her single. Because me, I haven't... What is this? This is only like a, a nine-minute clip. And it's like the first minute of it, I was already to just... I would have just walked away. You're, you're talking like you're in the White House already. Sometimes not talking so much about yourself. In a, like, it's okay to say you're ambitious or whatnot, but sometimes not talking about yourself adds a little bit of a mystery. But there's a few more minutes. Do you think um, your list could be adjustable in some ways, or are you living by everything you requested? It used to be worse than that. I have adjusted as I grown, Kenja. First, I said no kids. Now I'm like, two kids is fine. I mean, the bunch of tattoos all over, looking like, you know, certain things are just non negotiable. The piercing, the guys, I meet a lot of guys from Maryland. They have piercings here and nose piercing. In Jamaican culture, that's a batty boy. <laughs> you have a nose pierce, you a batty boy. <laughs> yeah, I can't bring you my parents. Okay, one more question. Do you think you're judgmental? Would you say that or no? I have heard that I am judgmental, but I'm not. I just, I grew up in a Christian, like, you can't just, you can't come around my family with your butt out. They're going to be like, you know, where you got this guy from? <laughs> you can't come around them speaking like nasty, what's up, dog? And Come on, you're coming into a Southern Christian house. I got to be able to bring you home. Okay. So if you again, if you can act right, because that's the, that, that's the consistent comment is that you're very judgmental. That's what they're saying in the comments. I I am not judgmental. It's what I've been around, guys. It's what I pick up. I have been on. That's why they never went to my parents' house again because they act like that and they're yeah they're embarrassing me in public. You can't do that in public again. I'm going into a field. I'm going to be at the White House. You can't oh, come yeah, in. You think I wanted to go to that. So what are you going to be doing at the White House? You're going to be a lawyer for the president? So I plan to run for office. Um, I yeah. know. Uh, why do you think you think so? I think, I'm, yes, I am very picky. I also haven't met anyone to give anyone a chance like I could, like, you know, work with. Like, oh, he's missing two 
or three or four criteria. So let me help. Guys don't, they're not patient. They're not willing to work. Some guys also just, again, they want the cookie cutter and you can't get my cookie. Like I have a time frame. You can't just meet me and two what's the time frame? Right. What's the time frame to get your cookie? <laughs> Kendrick. I usually go by the 90 day rule. And one thing that I always do to hit home for women is that they shouldn't sleep with a guy too soon because if you sleep with a guy within like the first couple of dates, come on, he's gonna think that you, you're an easy smash. Even if you were somebody he really wanted to get to know, if you sleep with him too soon, it's gonna change his perspective of you. But with her being at the age she's at, and it's like, you don't need, okay, if you meet somebody, you're 32, you want three kids, you know, the, the, the courting phase can, anywhere, can be anywhere from a year or two. So, and you're already 32. By the time you meet somebody, by the time you're done courting, but, and then you start trying for a baby, like, you don't have this plethora of time to waste. So, maybe for her, maybe a good 40 days. You can get to know somebody over a month and 10 days. They're calling her judgmental. Me, I'm, I'm thinking she's controlling. Oh, he got to have this. He got to have that. Can't have this. Can't have this. It's like you will find out all that, all about that person, or you should, at least a nice majority of it, dating that person. I think where I'm having a problem is it's the person is coming from. I've already said this the third time. Sexual marketplace value matters. Well, you guys, we'll go ahead and leave this one finish it's gotten kind of long here don't forget to comment like and subscribe tell us what you think about it and we'll see you next time